While an announcement that sources told us was coming weeks ago became official this morning, Congressman Brian Higgins will be the next president and CEO of Shea's Performing Arts Center. Yeah, Higgins told us he will resign from his seat in Congress early next year. This will create waves in both theater circles and across Western New York politics. Senior reporter Eileen Buckley spoke with Higgins about his plans to move Shays forward. This is Brian's first official bit of swag. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Brian Higgins, congratulations. Brian. Congressman Brian Higgins taking center stage as the new leader of downtown Buffalo's crown jewel in the theater district, Shea's Performing Arts Center, where he was officially named president and CEO. Shea's board chairman, Jonathan Dandies, revealed more than 100 applied for the job in an international search. And I'm happy to tell you that the selection was, at the end of the day, unanimous. The next president and CEO of the Shays Performing Arts Center, Congressman Brian Higgins. Brian. Higgins says after serving 19 years in the 26th Congressional District, he's frustrated with the lack of progress in Congress and is ready to lead this iconic cultural institution. He takes over following last year's resignation of former Shays President Michael Murphy, who was accused of creating a toxic work environment. My governing philosophy will be consistent with my administrative philosophy here, and that is everybody needs to be respected. Uh, everybody uh, needs to be their authentic self without fear or apprehension. Higgins says he will create an inclusive work environment for all. And Higgins says he has a vision for improving the theater experience and coming into the theater district. When you do the infrastructure improvements, for example, returning cars to Main Street uh, right at this block, private sector investment follows. It's not coincidental. It is a cause and effect relationship. And everywhere you go, for every dollar you spend in public dollars, you generate three to four to five, in the case of Ohio Street, seven dollars of private sector investment that follows. Higgins says his goal is to make the theater district a more inviting place. Longtime theater critic Anthony Chase tells me he agrees with Higgins. And I think support for all arts and culture, that he sees it as a flagship, that means a leader. And I think a leader across arts and culture for everything. That I, people don't really, you can tell politicians a gazillion times that the arts have a greater financial impact, economic impact than sports. No one ever believes it, but it's true. Higgins must first resign from Congress, but expects to begin his new post in February. Eileen Buckley, 7 News, Buffalo.